Well, guys, good Friday, November 3rd, 2023. This is a different view of the Ram. Came out, yes, no, I'm sorry, the day before yesterday, the 1st, to go to the store, stepped on the brakes, pedal went right to the floor. Not real happy, of course. Long story short, checked it out. This is the right rear brake hose. And it's going to be difficult to film. But you see what's left of it. It's my bad for not doing my own inspections. But it rusted to the point where it came right off of the metal tube. So I had to go to the store. I really had something important I needed to pick up. I took a pair of um, old dikes that I had, ground the, the cutting sides flat so I didn't cut through the tube, and compress this. I don't recommend this. I compress this to stop the fluid from pouring out like it was. Did one here, 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 just to uh, be able to drive it. It's only like six miles to the store, six miles back. So I did that, filled it with fluid, had a spongy pedal, but it worked just fine. Obviously, I had no right rear brake, but the other three, you know, as long as you're not driving like an idiot and a deer doesn't jump out in front of you, you should be good to go. Now, I researched this a little because I've never done one on these, to me, newer Rams. And this pipe, and that's why I crimped this one, because this pipe does not come off of the hose. It's all one piece, and it runs all the way over to a block on the other side. So what I've read is people are taking off this hanger cutting it here, putting a fitting on it, and buying this Chinese hose that's got a fitting on this end and screwing it up. That's just not acceptable, not to me anyway. So what I did is I bought the factory hose from a site online. If anybody's interested, let me know and I'll post a link. And had the entire hose and tube assembly shipped to me. 50 bucks overnight shipping and they're in New York where I am so yeah maybe the guy brought it down himself I don't know but this is where this pipe goes the metal part if you can see it up here and again this is a really bad I don't have a lift so I'm lying on the ground but this this is the pipe here and it runs across the back of the truck and terminates up here into this block. It's, it's this outside one. Actually, it's the inside one, sorry. The outside one goes to the left rear. So you've got these, these clips here. Again, I apologize. You've got these clips that hold the tube in place. And they're a pain in the butt to get out. But the new assembly comes with them, so... You can either snap these open, take them off the new assembly, and put the new pipe in here. There's three of them. Or you can struggle with them and get them out and use the new clips. But these are fine. I'm just going to leave it the way it is because this is easier in my opinion. So, that fitting up there, not God, I hope it comes out without destroying anything else, is um, 12 millimeter. The banjo bolt here that you're going to have to take out is a um, is a 15 millimeter. What really worries me is the brake bleeder. I should be okay because they've got the little rubber dicky on here still. Normally, when people take those off, like sorry, let me let it refocus. Okay, as I was saying, normally when people bleed the brakes, take these off, they don't put them back on. Those bleeders rust up in the caliper, and good luck getting that out. You can try a little heat, but with the seals in there and stuff, it's not terribly advisable. Just get a new caliper. What will happen is you'll put a uh, socket on that, give it a good yank, and it'll just snap right off, and you're done. So that... The bleeder on this truck is 10 millimeter. 
and then that goofy little bracket that holds the hose from getting wrapped around anything, I guess. If I can get this light to stay put, skis. Is right here. And it's just above the, the rear sway link. And that's a 13 millimeter. So I'm not going to make you suffer through watching me change this, but I'll show it to you when it is done. And just to show you, this is the new one. They are bubble flares. So if you plan on doing something out of the ordinary, you're going to need a tool that can do bubble flares. And then that pipe runs down here to the hose. And I know it looks like it, it comes apart, but it doesn't. That's just the way it is. So with the shipping and the price of the part, it costs $122. I guess that's not terrible this day and age. So I put a wrench on the fitting that goes into that block and guess what? It's not going to come off with a wrench. Flare wrench, not going to come off. It just started to spin around it. So, pro tip here, 26 years of doing this kind of stuff. Cut the line off as close as you can to the fitting. Put a socket on it and that's your best chance. So that's what I'm going to do. Lubricants, rust penetrants. There, it's not going to work in this case. It's just not going to get into the threads. Maybe a little bit of heat. We'll see what happens, but we're going to put the socket on it with a ratchet and see if I can get that off. All right, so cutting that off and using the socket worked. Thank God. So now for the last obstacle in this repair is going to be getting this bleeder loose. Something I should have mentioned or could have, but will is this fitting here with the banjo bolt there's two copper gaskets that go one on this side and one on the the caliper side this part does not come with those true to chrysler's nature you only get the part that you buy i have a good feeling about this this actually didn't go too bad yep crack loose no problem so we're gonna let this gravity bleed to get the air out of the system and to accomplish that I'm going to this is my redneck lift I've got a couple of four by fours under the tires to give me a little more room because I'm working on the ground back in the day when I had my business I had a lift and 10 billion kinds of tools so it wasn't an issue but uh yeah I'm gonna roll it off this take the top off of the uh the brake fluid reservoir and we'll let this gravity bleed for a little while keeping the reservoir full of course and we should be good to go and one more thing and I know it doesn't sound like what you do but when you run this new line come in from the driver's side it goes up through here and this shield this heat shield around the spare tire is an absolute pain in the privates the way that this bend is uh, on the new hose well the original one too I guess and yeah this is a nightmare trying to fill man I apologize guys but the way this bend is here and over to the block there's absolutely no way to get it through this little hole up here where it needs to go unless you take this heat shield down and wasn't into that. So I started feeding it through the driver's side back over to the passenger side and it took a little finesse, but it, it definitely was possible, obviously, because it's in there. So just make sure all your clips are back in place. Make sure your brake line's not rubbing on anything metal. Get them bled and you're done. It's metal time. All right, guys, so to wrap this up, this is, of course, the end that came off of the hose. The end that the banjo bolt goes through with the two copper gaskets. Typically what I do is I cut the line close to the fitting that I'm changing. And that, if you cut it, it kind of pinches it and it keeps fluid from running out. 
and then I start from the opposite side which is in this case the hose to take it all apart that way replace the line leave the old line in place until you get the new one in I do and then do your last fitting that's closest to the master cylinder if that makes sense because you'll have the least amount of fluid loss if you start at the closest to the master cylinder end when you take that fitting out you can have fluid running the entire time that you're working on replacing the rest of the hose or lines or whatever you're doing so gravity bled it I just tested it I'm good to go no leaks so tomorrow Saturday the 4th November 23, Christmas is almost here. Ha! You guys enjoy your weekend, and we'll talk soon. Take care now.